everybody welcome to the shop as you can see today we're gonna to be outside if you read the headline this is gonna be a video on how to carve a small bear you know if you're new to carving and you're trying to get into it I think starting with something small and working your way up is the best way to go um, I'm gonna start off by saying I am NOT a professional chainsaw carving champion whatever I'm just some guy that really likes to carve and create things and just share my techniques with you guys. So if you're really interested in this video and you plan on watching this thing, be sure to hit subscribe. Right now is the perfect time. We're not getting into any work. I haven't fired up any saws. Go down to the bottom corner over here somewhere, um, just below the video and hit subscribe. It's a big deal. You'll be alerted when I put new videos up and I really appreciate it. I'm gonna be using my MS-193 today. Um, something comparable in size would be maybe your MS-170 or an MS-180. Uh, it's a little bit smaller bar than a bigger saw. That's, that's all I'm going to use though. I'm going to try to just stick to that saw. This video is for if you're just starting out, so I'm assuming you wouldn't have a dime tip bar or a quarter tip bar. So basically this is, uh, this is just going to be a carving with your stock bar on a smaller saw. Be sure you've got some safety gear. You're gonna want something to protect your eyes, your ears, your hands. You know, get some safety chaps, steel toe boots, all that good stuff. It's important to be safe when you're doing this. There's always a chance for kickback where you can cut yourself and really be hurt. So, uh, you know, be safe, be smart. Think about all your cuts before you make them and what you're doing. Um, kickback's a real thing. Just have control of your saw and just pay attention. If you're going to be trying to do the exact same ones, give you an idea, you know, of size. Not real big, it's more like a branch, I guess. Um, if you have a jaw horse, I'd get it in there, get it clamped down good and tight so it's not moving around. Lock it in place, give it a good squeeze, you're all set to go. Um, I'm going to kind of walk you through my first cut. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut off the back at an angle. And we're going to come through and cut off the front at an angle. As I said, this is a walkthrough, step by step, so as you guys can see we've got two angles. This one is shorter in the back, wider in the front. Now the next few cuts I'm going to make are going to be for the ears. Those cuts are going to be off the sides right here on each side. And really, on this uh, tree, they're going to go in about an inch, inch and a half on each, each side for each ear. So now that we made those four cuts, we're going to trim off the back. Remember this middle piece is your ear. Now in the back, you've got, well if you put your finger off to the side, it makes a triangle. You're going to cut that at an angle, follow your cut, meet it up, and get rid of that piece on each side. Then you're going to move to the front and do the same. Take out this whole chunk right here. Now as you're cutting, your saw is kind of at an angle. You know, this is straight. You can tell the difference, it's kind of an angle. I'm cutting an angle out. I'm making multiple cuts because I want to get rid of that first cut line so it's gone. I'm gonna do the same over here. So there's our ears. You got your ears cut out. Okay. It's got it trimmed. You got some angles on each side. Here's the back. 
Okay, and got that material gone. We're gonna come through and angle cut this and kind of round the back of his head. I'm gonna make a straight cut here, which will end up being the front of the nose. And I'm also gonna lop part of the top, but just these ears off, because I kind of I like them rounded. Another thing we'll do is we're gonna come in with the saw and scoop this out between the ears just a little bit. All right, so something to remember when you guys are carving. Make sure you've got a sharp chain before you even start. Your cuts will be a lot smoother, a lot nicer. Also, if you make a mistake, just keep going. Move on to the next cut and just keep going. My bears all look different because I make mistakes. And you just roll with it and turn it into a bear that's looking different or doing something different. It's no big deal. Remember, your bear may not look just like mine totally fine so I'm gonna make two cuts on the side here and then we'll come into the face at an angle and cut those out you guys will see what I mean All right, guys, so I got carried away and just kept cutting. All right, so here's our bear so far. Cut in straight, got that nose shape. Then we came in at an angle from the sides and trimmed that out so his cheeks are sloped back, okay? Then I had this piece here, so I notched it in and took that notch out. That gives us the top of the nose and the lower jaw. After that, I came down a little bit further, notched it in, came up and took this piece out. See it here? That's going to be like the bottom of his head going into his neck area. So the next cuts are going to be angled cuts in here, and that's going to give us more of a shape of his head, and we'll chop those out. From there, we're going to move into doing the arms. Start from the top and work your way down. It's the best way to go. All right, so now that we've got the head there, kind of coming down to the neck, the lower bit of his head here you can see, I'm gonna take the saw and use kind of the nose and start rounding over these hard edges. Start giving his head more of a round shape and his cheeks. And we'll work on the face and the nose here some.
All right, so you know the saw kind of did something I didn't wasn't expecting here, and it kind of just kicked up. So he looks like he's raising his lip. That's all right. I'll just roll with it. This guy's kind of like, hey, what's up? You know, no big deal. Keep working it. So those are the cuts on the nose we just made. All right, you saw me shaping the ears a little bit, rounding them back. You know, unless you're trying to make a bear that looks like a Lego, it's important to get rid of all the square edges that you can. Round them in. Take your time. <clears throat> His arms are going to be down in here. We'll have room for a little bit of a belly and some feet. That's kind of, that's all we're going to be doing. So. Be sure you're careful making this cut right now. You're going to get kicked back because you're not cutting into that neck. But the chain's going to touch it and the saw as you're going in this way, it's going to want to kick back at you like that. Well, don't stick it in your arm because that's just going to be a real crappy day. So, have a good grip. Pay attention to what you're doing. So we made those cuts for the arms, kind of leaving the bark on so you guys can see what's getting cut away. Normally you want to take the bark off in case there's rocks or gravel, you'll dull your chain. Um, this piece is pretty clean so I'm not too worried about it. So as you can see we kind of angled it down. I'm going to come through with a saw more and clean this up and bring the paws in closer. And then I'll do three cuts for where his, uh, his fingers will be. And then it'll be coming in at an angle for where the belly rounds out and then in at an angle for the feet. You know, you make three cuts, it makes it look like he's got four fingers.
All right, so we got some basic shape for the back. Just kind of a couple cuts that are angled in down. Kind of got a ridge line here. You see the belly coming together. All right, this is why I clamp extra in my clamp. Like when I start, it's all the way down and I start shaping. Otherwise, I get going and I forget like your bear needs feet. So now it's time to move this up. You're going to be cutting real close to your jaw horse if that's what you're using. And uh, don't hit it. Don't hit it. So right now I'm going to make one cut all the way around the bottom, like super close to the jaw horse. If you're smarter than me, you won't even have to move this at all because you'll actually have a piece long enough to cut this and just cut it right off and the other piece will still be in the jaw horse. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, I tend to get my pieces like really close. I end up, you know, pushing the limit and sharpening my chain more times than I'd like to admit. Right now though, we're cut all the way around. We're not going in very deep. You're talking like less than a quarter of an inch in. Now that I made those cuts, I'm going to start trimming down to those to get his feet all the way down and rounding this down for where his feet are going to be and making a cut in the center to separate them. So as I said, we're going to angle this down, but you know what? Probably be a better idea to just take your carving, if you can here, and move it to the outside of the jaw horse. All right. I don't normally do this. I just, I risk it and come really close to hitting the metal here. But for you guys, now you can see though, the metal won't be in the way. So you can make those angled cuts down and not have to worry too much about hitting this, but don't get comfortable. You get comfortable, you get hurt. So. There we go, there's his feet angled in. Remember, if you're just practicing and stuff, or just we're just going slow. I mean this video is gonna be like wicked long, I'm sure. But it is what it is, you know. You gotta come in here though and clean this up. It needs to be more rounded, but we don't want to take away a lot of meat, or I mean you're gonna have like this skinny toothpick whoop, this skinny toothpick bear. So using the nose and you're just kind of lightly hitting the wood and sort of sanding really um shaping sanding whatever and mind you like this bear's not coming out perfect it just it's just the way it works you know until you've done like eight million of them 
it's probably not going to come out perfect, but you get a good good start and a good design. So I'm going to go ahead and start rounding his belly and round the arms here a little bit. And then we're going to move in to the back. Maybe you're watching this video to learn how to carve. Maybe you're watching this video because you just think carving a bear with a chainsaw is stinking cool. Either way, make sure you've hit subscribe. Seriously, like I just hit pause to give you that opportunity. Just hit the subscribe button. Showing your support and that you guys are watching and ready to follow along is just, I really appreciate that. That's awesome. some shape in here kind of rounding them around a little bit you guys can see what's going on there I'm um, trying to get rid of any hard cuts that I made sometimes you might have to go back and use some Gorilla Glue and just glue a piece back in let it dry carve it back out um, you know we'll save that for another video so I'd say the front of this guy is looking pretty good you know I went back through and just reshaped under his head here to give him like neck space so it's not just his head touching his chest as you can see, I kind of cut it out. Taking my time, shaping it. All right, so now we're gonna move on to the back. Now, I like to make his back um, dip in a little bit, just below the arm, you know? So it's, it's kind of like his belly's pulling his back out. So we're gonna be shaping that in just a little bit. And then, kind of got this triangle shape going on here. We're going to come up a little bit and cut into the bear and down and kind of work it. Take your time and cut the bottom out so it'll give him a butt. Also, you know, watch this video like a hundred times. <laughs> it'll probably help you out. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up too while you're at it. Alright, so this is what we've got going on. See that shape kind of going. Got his butt cut out. Um, I used to take the time and do a tail on these little guys, you know, just a little cut here. It's not really worth it. Um, this is being carved green, so when it dries, he's going to split. And we're going to do something to help prevent some of that. Now, there's the potential that he's still going to split and crack and we just can't do anything about it. It's wood, you know, if, if, uh, if you don't like it, let it fully dry out and fix it. But a little something we're going to do to help prevent 
a ton of uh, splitting in the face is we're going to now make a cut from the head all the way down the back. So at this point, I would say move your bear to the outer edge of your jaw horse where you had it earlier to do the feet, just now the back's facing out. We're going to make a cut top to bottom. All right, guys, so that's going to be it, you know. Here's that carving so far, nice close-up shot for you guys. Is there still some work to do? Sure there is. Um, it's just minor stuff, you know, using the nose of the bar, just cleaning it up, doing your, your shaping, and just kind of making it your own. Um, that's all I've really got in this video, though, for you guys today. You know, if you liked it, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit subscribe and show your support. I'll have some more videos like this, some more how-tos on the way I do things. Uh, these techniques and ways are not set in stone. They change for me all the time, and if they change for me, uh, we'll make a video on it, and we'll make something that looks better, hopefully, right? Also, want to tell you guys I've got some links below. Be sure to check them out. There's Amazon links. You guys can do some shopping through. Bookmark the link to your page and just, uh, you know, shop. Whatever you want to do, whatever you're buying, buy it through that link. It'll help support this channel and keep it growing. I've also got an Instagram link, a Facebook link, and an Etsy link. If you guys are starting this carving and you want to share your photos, go to the Facebook page that I have. That's my business page. You could probably share some of your carvings there with me through a, a private message. Um, Etsy, you can buy some of my carvings. If you're checking this video out and you're like, oh man, this is really cool, I want to buy one, follow the Etsy link. You can go there. I've got a few bears done. Feel free to make a purchase. Helps me out. I appreciate it. Listen, I know this video is kind of long. If you stuck it out this long, thank you as always. I hope you guys will tune in for the next one, and I'll see you next time.